guys, welcome to the video. My name is Hugh and I'm from Home Network Solutions Berkshire. Um, and in this video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to set up a cheap little TP-Link router to make it into a modem. Now the reason you do this is uh, if you've got a VDSL connection and you want to use a router that doesn't have a modem. So a good example, I've got a TP-Link here. This is a little, uh, one of their VPN routers, the ER605, so one from their Armada range. This is a great little router, but it doesn't have a modem. So uh, in order to connect it to uh, something like a VDSL connection, then you need to uh, have a modem. So sometimes if you, for example, you've got like a fiber to the premise or uh, a provider such as someone like Virgin, then you've already got that modem option. But if you've got VDSL, you're probably just gonna have your current ISP's router and you don't have a way to bridge that across to this router. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now I've got this one here, which is the ER, sorry, no, it's not, it's the TD. W9960, there is also a slightly newer model, which is the uh, 70. So uh, both of them sort of very similar, N not very different in price, but um, yeah, you might see one that's blue, you might see one that's white, but effectively the same thing. I've already got this plugged in, um, and you will see that it's got some lights on the bottom already. The page that you're seeing on in front of you is the first thing you see when you log into it. Now, all these products are available on our retail website, wifi2buy.com, everything you've seen, including the VPN router. Um, so the link below for that website and these products are is uh, just below, sorry. So the link for these products is just below. Uh, we've also, if you're outside of the UK, we've also got Amazon affiliate links. So please, if you're able to, thank you very much and use our links. Um, also, if you enjoy this content and you uh, want to see more of it, then please do subscribe to the channel. Right, great, let's, so get, let's get into this. This is a really simple setup. So uh, just to explain what you would do here, so say you had this router and you wanna connect the uh, video cell connection to it, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna, first of all, take your existing uh, RJ11 from your phone socket, your BT Master socket, and you're gonna put that into this little socket here. So this, uh, yeah, little uh, RJ11 port there. And then we can start this process. I haven't got a phone line here to, to show you exactly how that works, but that's how it works. And then this, one of the cables like this would come straight into the, um, the, the router that you're going to use. Now, it doesn't have to be a TP-Link router. It can be any router you want. So say, for example, you're using like a Ubiquiti router, you can still use this as a modem. This is All this is doing is passing the internet connection across to the router. So let's get straight into it. Now, obviously, I've just connected to this uh, router via the um, via an Ethernet cable. Um, you can do it via Wi-Fi. I'm not sure I would recommend that because you get disconnected and stuff. It's easier just to do it with a cable if you can, but you can do it via 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 Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi credentials are on the back of the router. Right. So once you connect it, however you're going to connect. You come in, open a browser, and you can connect in two ways. You can either type in the IP address 192.168.1.1, or you can type in uh, TP link, there you are, TP link modem.net. So that'll take you effectively to exactly the same page, um, but whichever one you use. Right, so we come in here, and um, I'm going to just give it a quick password, so we'll just call it admin1 admin one and then we'll get started right so um, the first thing to do is just you don't need to come out of the quick setup there is no reason to go into basic or advanced you can do everything for the quick setup and it takes like two minutes so let's just run through it so first of all obviously just select your region I'm in the UK here so we're gonna select that then time zone, yeah, it does it automatically, brilliant. Right, now, because I'm in the UK, it's given me a list of UK uh, internet providers. Ignore all of this, you, even if you've got TalkTalk Talk and you think, right, that's my provider, ignore this. We're not using this router as a router. I would not recommend actually using these routers as routers, they're not very good. Um, but as modems, they are absolutely fine. Right, so let's go down, 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 and then what we're gonna do is, we haven't, ignore all these other ones, we're gonna go to other. Pick other, go to next. Now you've got your interface here, so this is the type of interface you've got. VDSL, ADSL. VDSL is fiber to the cabinet, basically, and this is pure copper. So most people now, if they haven't got fiber to the premise or virgin, uh, they've got VDSL. ADSL is pretty old now. If your internet's really, really slow, then you may have ADSL, but most people have got VDSL at least. Right, so 
Uh, we can go down here and we don't need to put any of these credentials in because we're going to say bridge. Incidentally, when you set up your router, this, this is what you're going to need to put in if you've got a PPVO uh, type connection. Right, so anyway, we're going to bridge. Uh, if you've got a VLAN tag with your uh, internet provider, then you do need to put that in. So um, say for example, it's 101, which is probably the most common one in the UK. Um, then that will uh, that will allow you to connect. If you don't put that in and the VLAN tag is required with your internet provider, then uh, then it won't work. So you need to make sure you do do that bit. Um, so yeah, just literally enable that. If it's not required, don't put it in because if you do put it in and it's not required, it won't work. So you need to know whether you're not you need a VLAN tag. So for example, if we were doing someone like BT, which is uh, one of the biggest providers in the UK, then it doesn't need a VLAN tag. So you can just literally put in the credentials. You don't need to enable that. Uh, but lots of providers do need them, so just be careful. Right, so what's go next? Uh, you don't need the Wi-Fi on at all. In fact, I would definitely turn it off just because you're either gonna get another Wi-Fi network broadcasting that is irrelevant, effectively. If, however, you have decided to connect to this router via Wi-Fi instead of using a cable, just leave this for now because otherwise you're just going to knock yourself off. So just just leave that um, if you are wirelessly connected. Then you can go to next. Uh, and it's just asking you basically if you still manage to connect. And you say, yep, I've done that. So that's it. It is finished. It's in bridge. The internet connection, uh, connection status bridge and the Wi-Fi is disabled. And then you can just press finished. Now you wouldn't expect this to say connected now because we haven't connected the router. So uh, this would go in fact, I don't know what colour that would be if it did have a phone line plugged in. Obviously, I haven't got a phone line plugged in. I haven't got one here to plug in. But you wouldn't expect this to be connected to the internet because it doesn't have, it hasn't been told by the router what the internet credentials are. It's just passing it across at the moment. What you may see is you will see that it's got a, um, it has got a connection. It's got a connection out to the world, but it just hasn't got a connection to the internet because it's just bridging and the router doesn't know what it's doing yet. Now that is it, and you should never ever have to come back into this again, really, unless you're changing some settings, like you've got a new provider or something like that. There is no real reason to come back into this. So that should now just sit there quietly. Now what you can do, if you really want to, uh, if it's, these annoy you, these antennas, because you're not using them, uh, is you can take these off, but um, or you can just fold them away and just uh, forget about it and then leave it. This can also be wall mounted, so you can just tuck it away. And that'll be it, just leave it running. Uh, it's a much cheaper option than using something like a Vigor, a Draytech Vigor 167 or um, a TP, uh, yes, or, or another type of modem. Um, Draytech Vigor is about £90, whereas this is uh, around £35, so there's quite a big price difference. Right, I hope this video has been useful. Um, we will do another video just kind of following up and uh, showing you how to connect from the modem to, the, uh, to a router, but uh, at the moment this is just showing you how to get that into bridge mode. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers. Bye.